Welcome, my name is Jack, and this is Highlands, a game which is currently in development and on Kickstarter. They're raising funds uh, to get this into, into the full version. Now, this is a special press beta for YouTubers, uh, a special preview that we can uh, play to show you guys what the game's about. Uh, and if you want to, then you can go to the Kickstarter, which there'll be a link to in the description below, and then you can pledge some money. It's only got a couple of days left, though. Uh, now, personally, I don't have the, the money to uh, put down for a game like this at the moment, but I thought... We'll check it out and see what it's like. And if you are interested in it, and other, other than that, it's still a video game and I love checking out new video games. So what is Highlands? It's a turn-based strategy game, kind of like Risk. Uh, there's some resource management and RPG elements as well. Uh, and it's set in these floating islands, which instantly actually reminded me of, of Bioshock Infinite, uh, because that's probably the most recent game I've played with that kind of look. Um, but it's got a really cool fantasy feel to it. Um, and I've really enjoyed uh, the small amount that I've played so far. I've played the tutorial and there are some features which aren't fleshed out fully. A lot of the interface hasn't been done. Uh, there's a whole lot of quirks that really need to be ironed out. Uh, the in interface especially is a bit inconsistent, but it's a really good representation of what the game would be like if it's fully developed. So let's try a new game. We'll see how we go. So I got this. I really like the art style, I gotta say. The art style is really, really cool. So we got um, Uriel. I don't even know how to say that name, but Uriel, good thing you showed up. I was skeptical about your survival judging by the looks of things. Uh, and then, Lyric? I kind of, I don't have no idea how to pronounce this name. To so what accent I'm trying to be going for, I don't know the origin of these, of these names. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, the city is overrun. These monsters are practically at my door. Uh, we'll have to fight our way and liberate the city. So that's Cecilia. I am a guess. Your goal is to reclaim control of the city. In order to do so, you need to manage resources like food and leadership, which are generated in sectors. Each character consumes one food per turn. So these little circles in a moment, which we'll be able to play with uh, our, our characters. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Each sector is ravaged by war in order to generate resources, put leaders in the leadership slot, the yellow flag, we'll see what that is in a moment, to get sectors residents organized. The leadership skill of leaders will accumulate in the sector and after some turns it will start generating, generating resources, which sounds to be a little bit different than how I played in the tutorial. The tutorial did say that some of the features are out of date. So I think it takes a bit of time to, to get resources compared to the tutorial, which is a lot quicker. A lance for the sector is fully functional and generates maximum resources. Uh, there's a little box which shows what those are. It's then best to move your leaders to other sectors. Make sure you generate enough food and leadership in all the sectors you own in order to fuel your war efforts. Good luck. All right, so here's the map. Uh, we've got these little sectors here, which are these, um, these areas. Uh, and so these numbers, uh, are each number is representing an area, and the number within that is the total, let me get, think of a good way of explaining this, uh, it's the total power or, or um, strength of the characters there. I think that's the best way to describe it. So we have five characters in our disposal. All together, they total 41 strength. If I bring up the tab here, some are 14, some are, one guy's 1, 15, and so forth. So that the 41 is the total strength that they have. Uh, these are enemy positions. And we want to try and regain control of these sectors. Uh, in the bottom left there, if I mouse over Villa sector number five, you can see it hasn't been given a proper name yet. Uh, down in the bottom there, there's uh, the, the green symbol with tomato or an apple or a strawberry. I can't really tell. That's the amount of food it's producing. Uh, and in the top there, we've got 50 food and we're losing three per turn. So we'll obviously need to get some of these sectors under our control fairly soon. Uh, the cool thing about the fog of war of this map though, it's because we're in the clouds. The fog of war is essentially clouds. It's the clouds of war, if you want to put it in that way. And so you can see these bridges in the distance and they lead off into other sectors. Now, when I grab a character, so if I grab Lyric here, uh, I can put them into the... Oh, these symbols are actually different, and I don't understand. That's the leadership one. I actually, I think that's the fortifying position. Uh, so that there, on the left, I think that's the strength of uh, all of our power combined. So we're at 41, which is the max we can be. So if it was 21, we might be at half strength because the characters are weakened. Uh, hopefully, I'm not getting any of these wrong. The one on the right there is fortifications, which we can use to defend against uh, the enemy. Uh, and now, we can move... Uh, one of these characters in particular, if I look in the top right there. So, uh, Merrigan, who's actually the queen of the family, because it tells you in the tutorial, if I put her into the leadership slot, uh, then she'll start generating leadership. She has a two for that. Uh, and then, oh, down the bottom left there, it's producing two out of two food. Uh, and it's a six out of six of leadership, plus two, I guess, up in the next turn, because we've got her in that position. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, I presume that 40 out of 200 means that's the maximum strength it can take. Uh, and then the, so that's the fortifications. Uh, fortifications just means when enemy attack it, they have to destroy those before they can get there. I uh, get and attack us within it. This last symbol here, 
I can't actually remember what that means. So I'll have to come to that later. Uh, we have one time you're saying items which you have none of. Um, our characters can have special items which we also have none of. Uh, other than that, we want to start moving our characters around. So we've got Uriel. If I move him to this position here, uh, at the end of my turn, that will then attack that position. Oh, actually, by the way, you see there's another circle here. There's a special building in that sector, which is a tavern. And leaving a character there will generate leadership points. And we can then use those to get more characters. So if I put him there, he should be able to knock that out because that's six and he's 15 himself uh, we've also got someone who's 14 so i'll try and take that one there and other than that i'll leave him there because if i do something like if i move all these guys out you see this arrow now this sector is higher than that and they will attack because they can they, like they know that they could get the upper hand uh, now even though it's not based on numbers though it's still based on a bit of luck um, so if we go n10 uh now you see the interface is not final i kind of wish i could see the map behind me a bit clearer uh, and also it's cutting off. But uh, the swarm out enemies, they're kind of like a mechanical insect. They're kind of pretty sweet design. Six health, we've got 14. I can click attack. We went down by three. They went down by three. If I click attack again, they went down by two. We went down by one. I can't, yeah, that must make sense. Uh, so it's a bit of luck. But anyway, in the end, we have one. Um, so I could use the one use item if I had any. Uh, I could also have withdrawn if I feel like I was getting a bit scared. So I can close that. It's another battle. We'll try this one out. Oh, one hit. That guy's the man. Sweet. So I've got this. Now, this is an issue. They've got a sector hit which has actually got 18. Oh man, this map is huge. Why? Oh my goodness. Oh, I have no I actually zoomed out. It's massive. Alright, let's let's settle in for a game. Okay. I know I they're, uh, at the start with it, it looks pretty basic. It's just like numbers, just wait till your numbers get strong enough, whatnot. But I feel like there probably is a bit of a deeper mechanic that I, I'm not realizing. Now, I'm going to presume that goes to there, so we can just attack straight across like that. Uh, I kind of want to send someone to here. Because that sector, it needs to produce food. We need to... If I put someone there, does that mean it's going to produce food over time? Uh, I don't know what that minus six to nine... No, it's one of that villa sector means. Uh, there's obviously, obviously something happened in that bottom left, that, that black shield with the white lines across it. So that means that fortifications would go up. We'll leave them there. If I put them there, though, they'll attack. But my fortifications are there. And that means, well, they're still going to be... They have to kill those fortifications. Let's do this. Oh, but I'm worried about him. So let's move... If we move Lyric. Oh, they'll both go for that, because that's quite low. It's more of a puzzler in a time. If I put him here, they'll probably attack, but they'll need to destroy the fortifications. And we can hold them for the moment. He'll start working on the defenses of that, because they're going to try and attack. I think that's the best way to go about it. So let's end turn and let's see what happens. Yeah, not good. 18 to 15. They, they, we have to build the fortifications first. Let's, let's withdraw. And he's just going back and they've got their back. I guess that means there's no one here anymore. We need to pull him out. Build fortifications there. If we can move him to here. What's his health at? It's 16 out of 16. Let's go back to full health. That's cool. I'm trying to think of the best way to balance it all. Okay, that's balanced. If we end turn, the fortifications go up a little bit. Uh, but also... Oh, that number there must be the fortification in the black. That would make sense. Uh, I think that would make sense because this one's now going up by plus five because we've got uh, a character... Oh, maybe? Actually, <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, the fortifications... Oh, they're getting... They're healing back up. But the enemy doesn't really do anything. And I feel like if I just mashed and turn, there's no downside to that other than our food's actually dropping. Okay, there's one thing that's stopping us. We need to get our food. Now, how do we get food? We need to put someone in the leadership position. Oh, I had two of them selected. It's a click base. So if I can click that, and then if I move that one, that one's going to come with it. I'm still getting used to that. Um, still getting used to that way of playing. There's some defenses there. We, we really need to actually just take the fight to them. If we take the fight there, and then you go here. You're only 16 though. Now you're 20. They're very weak, but we'll do that. I don't want them to die though. Let's leave them to fortify out. Okay, let's in turn and see what happens. So if we attack, Getting them weaker. And we're, we could be attacking multiple... Oh! I just killed a character off. I am so silly. I think we need to withdraw. We're down to four. 
Oh, he's actually still alive. Maybe he's because he's a special character. He can't die completely. Now, there is something I haven't explained in the combat screen yet, which is quite interesting. I'm going to put them there. If I put her there, then we've only got one, and everyone's going to charge into that. Okay, you definitely need to go there. Mm. Maybe once that gets up to plus six, then the, it will start producing resources. But uh, there's fortifications, and they're not going to hold out very long. So let's end turn. Oh, that's the lead. Oh, that's the leadership now. Ah, oh, okay. This is a bit different to the tutorial. Our fortifications are dropping. I think that's what the 18 or 200 means. It's going to go down by at least negative 13, but it might go up to plus 4. I presume that's what it's going to mean. So if it's at 18, we'll do another turn, because this guy is still healing up. Oh, we're holding on. And one more turn. And the fortifications are going down, but now we're producing more food. Okay, so we've got the food production from that place, which is great. One thing I didn't explain in the combat screen. Hmm, really don't know. I guess we could just hold on for the moment, wait for that guy to heal up a bit more. I think we need to attack though, because we're down to seven. And wait, we need some food. Oh, actually, a place which produces food is this one here. We need this place. If you do that, then you go there. I don't want you to go to either. In the combat screen, you can choose the character which takes the damage. Whoever is the tank is the one that's going to absorb it all, uh, which is quite a cool mechanic. There's some fortifications still there. Just doing a bit of thinking. He can hold for the moment. Okay, let's, let's bring him in here, because the fortifications should hold. It's down 29. Okay, can always up to 18. Alright, so we can choose here who's going to take the damage. So I'm going to choose her. She's taking a lot of hits already. She's taking a lot of hits. Let's take one hit to this guy. Oh, it's getting pretty close. Take another hit to him. He's alive. Okay, the queen's going to have to take a hit. Okay, we've won. That's really good. Oh, there's still 18 across there. It feels like there's a whole duplicate comes out. Which I don't know if I really like. So they've both got fortifications, but um, they're not going to hold on very long. Uh, if you can just build up fortifications here and hold on against hold against that, that would be terrific. Um, I really don't know what... I feel like this is best, even though they could get both those places. There's three still there. Okay, now there's zero, so now they're definitely going to attack that. Uh, so we need to have at least 12 there. Uh, currently our unit counts are not great, but uh, these two should be able to hold easily. They're going to go for that. We are building defenses here. And in one more turn he can go back to that spot. But we are getting low on food. Okay, that's holding everything. Oh, but that's actually now... There's, there's not enough. There's not enough. The, the Villa Sector, it, it's got no defenses. We're going to have to pull out, aren't we? I wonder what this last symbol is. I don't know what it means. And it produces leadership for us. If I mean, I knew, but I like kind of discovering. It's pretty cool. It's a little bit different than... Uh, Oh, maybe just like academia or something. I remember, I remember something reading about it, like healing and performing research. It wasn't even into the tutorial, but it might actually be here now. Uh, we're after a banner ship on that property. But if we attack that, that'd be, that'd be a pretty silly battle to take though. But if you went in, you went here, you three went to that, and you went to there. This is risky. This should win us. They'll take that point, but it's these four that I really want. Let's try. Okay, that was the risky one. We won that one. And the other one, I want you to take the full. Nice. Okay, brilliant. So they're going to charge out. Oh, it's 12 there as well. Okay, now i got to figure out the math again. Uh, we, we need her 
to go to the leadership position so we can get sort out the food business. Because if we don't sort out the food business, then we're doomed. Now, I'm actually wondering, do we have enough? I don't really want 12 to come through my door, though. Leaving a character with leadership. You've got eight. It's got a lot. If you were there, how much would that be? Only 13. Uh, do I want to leave them to get the 12 to get that? Then we could bring the battle to them. It's a bit risky. Because then we have to defend. But we then have two choke points. But we could. It'd be better just to defend now. While we can. So it's. 18. 18 here. We won leadership points for battle. Oh, neat. That was the pause. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, I was wondering to see if any of these buttons did anything different. Okay, wait, let's. She needs to generate food. We don't have enough to defend both. We're going to have to go here. But then they're going to charge straight out. I don't even know if we can get out of this alive. Okay, we've won that. And then we have to take the fight to the 12. But we have to defend against the 18. We, we just can't do it. There's... There's just, like, that's 18 there. And we, we can't, because they'll just conquer that straight away. Because if we leave, then they're going to fight, and we're never getting a chance to heal. They're still going to attack with 17. Well, you're going to have to come into the fight, then. Uh, I, I need someone with two... 13. Like, we could probably... We, we might be able to win that. But we, we just can't... If, 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 we, if we put it out like this, they're, they're going to keep moving in. This is still the weakest for them. And that's the weakest for them. So no matter what we're going to do, they're going to come knocking. We need so many down the bottom to defend against that 18. I feel this is like the closest we can do. 10 and 18. Goodness me. We're going to get rinsed. We don't have any consumables, which is annoying. Attack. Oh, we didn't do any damage then. Oh, we're not doing any damage. I don't think we're going to win this. No, we've lost the battle. Oh... Oh, uh, there's just too many. We're not going to be able to attack, and we lost that battle as well. And so that means we all essentially have to come back to the keep. We just need to heal up. We're, we're all at, like, one or two hit points. And what I, I kind of don't like about the game so far is this duplication. Uh, there was 12 here. They go there, and there's just 12 there as well. Just suddenly now I have to deal with two lots of 12 than what, I had bef what was before. Why, shouldn't it be just 6 and 6 and then reinforcement slowly make that way up? I think that makes more logical sense to me. Because uh, now I'm stuck. I'm back to where I started. I'm now weaker than I was. And as I heal up, look, the enemy's even getting stronger. Um, and we're going to get out of food. So now, well, we're out of food. I don't know what that means for our troops, if, that, if that's a bad thing. But it seems like we can skip forward quite a bit. There's no penalties. The enemy's not going to attack because we're so strong. Um, and we can get up to full strength, which was 60. And then we can start again. But I, I feel like that aspect of the enemy just duplicating just completely um, really hampers. And I'm probably not the best player. It's the first time I actually played the full version of this game compared to the compared to the tutorial. But it is interesting. Um, Highlands has a really nice feel to it. Uh, but I think uh, as long as they can do some, especially some polish, polish in the face. But I, as a programmer myself, I don't do game programming, but as a programmer, I know that you want to do function before aesthetics. Uh, but the battle screen and all this kinds of interfaces, it would be lovely to see those all done up. But the feel, the music even, that music is really nice. I don't know if they've got that written for them or if it's some music they've found for the game, but um, it has a really nice feel to it. And they've started adding all these animations into the into the um, 
What's the landscape? Like the smoke plumes, which are actually... Looks like they're coming... Oh yeah, they're coming from under the lid, I guess. Uh, and the flags moving, uh, the wind and the tree swaying. It all looks really, really neat. So, this is a quick look at uh, Highlands. Uh, it's a really cool game. Uh, I hope you'll check it out for yourself. And we'll see you later.